Trump might get to be president, but he's not getting a better phone. Welcome back to the Weekly Roundup. My name is Jack O'Brien. Yesterday was the day of President Trump's inauguration. So if there's like a revolution going on right now, I wouldn't know because it's just Friday. Even though Trump gets to be president, the one thing he won't be getting is a better phone. The president must have a secure phone. This means things like not being connected to the internet and um, not tweeting, and he does that a lot. Trump and his advisors will likely not like this idea, but the truth is government is still in the 20th century and technology continues to advance faster every year. What we really need to see under this administration is more technology used in government. Mark Zuckerberg is all about more technology and he wants to bring virtual reality to Facebook. And he really wants to do this because he is investing $3 billion in virtual reality. This is significant because VR in the past has been primarily focused on gaming. Virtual reality for gaming didn't do so well in 2016, and implementation of virtual reality for everyday life and use in social media will likely be a bigger hit and promote virtual reality further. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to be virtually on Facebook, right? But then you'd still have to virtually avoid all your family members. Bill Gates is also investing half a billion in vaccines in order to prevent the next global outbreak. This is significant because wiping out diseases is the next step for societal development. I mean, we can't really develop much if we all have the plague, right? So if you support vaccinations, this is good news. And if you're still not quite so sure, I feel you. But we might have to just let the data do the talking for now. And finally, the Model S will be the most American car there is. So take that, all you people who think it's a foreign car hurting the country. Tesla is actually going to be doing the exact opposite, as the Tesla Model 3 has confirmed that the batteries will be manufactured in the Gigafactory. This means that the Gigafactory is really going to start getting moving, which is good because hopefully it means they'll complete it faster. Because really right now what we want is Tesla to be able to make cars to meet the demand. And battery power is still an issue when it comes to electric vehicles, but we might be on to something new. As scientists have recently found a way to make graphene carry an electrical current with zero resistance. I feel like it's almost every week that the news has some new battery technology that might be this big breakthrough and really we just never see anything from it. So let's hope this is it, but here we go. So by using this graphene to create zero resistance, something called superconductivity occurs and we need this. The only issue right now is that researchers believe that the P wave was responsible for this transfer of electrical currents, which is great, but the P wave's existence is still up for debate. This new breakthrough could lead to an entirely new way of transferring electric currents, as well as an entirely new field of understanding P waves. The only thing is we really can't be sure if this battery technology will continue or if it will just be another flop. So what do you guys think? Is this really the next battery breakthrough technology? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to bell me and I'll see you guys in the next one.